Hello everyone, this is Italian Mapper Chris, and today, yes, finally, I know a few of you are waiting for this, but I will make a new video. <coughs> it's gonna be a Hearts 4 video. Uh, I'm using a few mods, which uh, I'm makes it, uh, the game a bit easier and better, but the most important mod I'm using is the Roman Empire mod. Uh, pretty much it replaces Italy with the Roman Empire, and you uh, and you get uh, a bit lands too in the Balkans. Um, so let's read here, I mean, <coughs> brief history. Restoring glory. Less than 1,500 years ago, the Roman Empire was brought to its knees from a sack at all sides. Miraculously, the Empire survived the Germans' Hunnic hordes and the other aggressors with heavy losses of both men and territory. After years of rebuilding and advanced technology, the Romans are now strong enough to stand back up. With the support of the people and a great emperor, it is time to restore the empire to its former glory. After years of torment, the Romans are in position to strike and restore the um, once. I, I spelled wrong there. Their once great empire. <coughs> so instead of Mussolini, we get Sip ah, I can't, I can't say this right. Septimius Pinus II. We're still fascist. We still get the same party, uh, Partido Nazionale Fascista. But let's see how the how the man look looks. So we lose uh, the desert of Libya. Doesn't really matter though. We get Tunisia to recomp 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 whatever. Yeah, we we're, we get all of Djibouti and British Samoa lands. So that's a uh, three two. I don't think we get anything else. Uh, I I played small before, but it didn't have a focus tree back then. Now it has. Um, and I do think it is a bit overpowered that Italy gets all the Balkans. I didn't, I would rather if Italy maybe only had like Greece and Albania or just Yugoslavia. But you know, to be fair, I'm not that good at this game. Like I'm, I'm not, I do not suck at this game. But I'm not that good either. Although I have taken over the world as Italy before, but this will make it a bit too easy. <laughs> but you know what? I, I just play. I just want to play it because you know Rome. It's gonna be fun, okay? So let's just let's just uh, start and play on regular, no historical AI focus. Okay, so I guess we start with yeah, we start with Ethiopia. Let's take. Oh, <laughs> he changed the name of the leaders. So Pietro Badoglio is now Pietro Barbartius. I forgot what this guy's name was again. This uh, they used to name it to be Giovanni Messi. Now it's Gratitius Messi. Um, I forgot what name was name. I think I think his name was Ugo Caval Cavaliero. Ugo Cavaliero. Something like that. I forgot. Now it's Aquila Equitius. Uh, I forgot this name guy's name. Oh yeah, I forgot them. But oh, whatever. So we c finally, Italy actually gets some pretty good generals. <laughs> Because if you play Italy, like I played a lot, <coughs> most of the nations of uh, this game, and I have to say, Italy get, at least between all the great powers, Italy gets the shittiest generals, which I do not blame because Italy did have not the best generals. So let's start. Let's put Pietro Barbatius uh, in charge because he was actually the one in charge of uh, a second Italy Ethiopian war. So maybe a bit historical. Let's make a battle plan like this. Now the war with Ethiopia will be much easier, I think at least. Um, yeah. So and let's let's see what it is with the research slots. We get the same uh, the research. Uh, actually, wow. Wait, is it is this is this all like this? Do we start with literally nothing on industry? I think it doesn't. I think it is like this. I, I, I think, yeah, I think it's not like this. But anyway, so the tech trees haven't been changed, which I do not really blame. There's not really much to change. It's okay if they use the same tech tree as fascist Italy. I mean, they could have made some changes, but this works too. So, that's so how we're gonna focus on our industry. And on engineering. There we go. Uh, what's. Okay, national focus. So they haven't renamed really national focus yet. Still calls ETA under uh, dash whatever no under whatever it's called army effort. They haven't really named it yet, but you know it, it still works. That's the that's the most important thing. So we go here, we go to Italian highways. 
that we usually get the late in the late game, but I guess we get in the beginning. Here we go on the ships, uh, 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 focus three for ships. We get Mare Nostrum at the uh, at the late game. We get extra research slot here down here, which we're gonna try to get. Here we get the army focus. Oh, but I forgot. Here we get the <coughs> the air force focus. Let's see. Looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. You just need to rename them. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Props to the. By the way, the model B in the description. But I think this is the most, uh, most famous Roman Empire mod. If there are any others, I think there are any others. But here is the army, the Focus Three. Much bigger. I think yeah, bigger than the Focus uh, Focus Three for the Air Force and uh, Navy. Here we got the political effort. <coughs> we get to choose between going for the Allies. Which is interesting because uh, in Fascist Italy, when you play the Fascist Italy Vanilla game, you don't get to choose uh, to go for communism or democracy. Well, you can easily do it if you you know get you know uh, politicians which give you 0 0.10 daily communism and uh, democracy, but you don't really get a focus tree for it. So this is much more interesting. We won't go with this though. So we get a good we get to choose between the Pact of Steel. Or uh, we get to Italy first, which I think we will do. And here we get to peace. We get to, to go to war with everyone, or we get to peacefully annex, uh, peacefully annex country. I think I have an idea. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna first of all, I'm gonna peacefully annex these lands, so I become much stronger. Then I'll invade them, kind of like backstab them. Um, it may be a, sc a sc scumbag move, but I don't care. <laughs> So, yeah, now we can start building some f uh, factories. Let's go, we'll be building some filling factories here. And some military factories. Navy. There we go. Let's build some more military factories. Uh, Tunisia and Gapes. Okay, so. We got a few factories here. Let's use them to. Actually, let's start making by building units and we'll see how much we need. Uh huh. So they changed the name of the. of the divisions. Um, so. This is the f infantry. Yes. We can't put anything else. I think this looks already pretty good. <coughs> let's train them. Uh, what? Yeah, we'll, we'll think about it later. Uh, Alpin. Uh, cohort Alpina. Do we have anything to add? No, nope, this looks already good. It looks like it's already been finished, but let's make them... Oh, fuck. Fuck you, whatever. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm just gonna pause the game <laughs> right now. One second. Oh my, okay, we're back now. Uh, so, actual focus. Let's go for Italian hi highways. <laughs> okay, this one actually was already a focus for the vanilla for Fashili. So we need to expand our infrastructure to ensure easy mobility mobility of troops through our empire. Enemies at every corner of the world is actually a crucial part of being an Italian soil. That is true. Infrastructure is important. Uh, <coughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna build troops, I forgot about that. Uh, this is the uh, light tank one. I wanna change this one. I don't want all this cavalry and motorized to be, but we can't change it right now because I don't have the army experience. Probably get that from the war with Ethiopia later on. Why oh, is a heavy court? Okay then, it's actually made better. Let's use this. Uh, nah, let's not use this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna spare this one when I do maybe a new division. I'm gonna recall it and change it all that. But for now, I'm just gonna use this one instead. Okay, so let's put them all in one place in Latium. There we go. Uh, five is enough. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. and let's put four of you too. I think that's enough. Okay, so let's start this game. Now we can see how much we actually need. Okay, we need a lot of this. Uh, we have got we need artillery. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's put it back. Uh, I'm gonna try to 
I'm going to try to make this as organized as possible, my <coughs> production. Let's make one right a bit above light tanks. Uh, how's it going in, in East Africa? Good, I don't know if you need to worry about that. Yeah, Just, they're not going to worry about that. Okay, so, few minutes for factories. Let's give, okay, we need, we need fighters. And we need bombers. Uh, we need nail bombers. Now we're gonna have interwar fighter or fighters uh, above here. Let's see. I think let's have them down here. Okay, good. <coughs> okay. Uh, interwar. Okay. There we go. So let's give every. Uh, Production each factory. Let's get them here too. Okay, now we have enough. Okay, <coughs> now we need to build our navy up. Uh, let's build three of these. We're gonna, need, we're gonna need to fix our navies. Actually, do it right now. Uh, let's make our first navy here. So we're gonna move all submarines to Sicily. Let's make a destroyer fleet in outside of Rome. This might not be that necessary with the only, but I like to have things organized. Now let's make it a bit more easy. Let's make. Uh, There we go, let's move every ship here. There we go. Now we have 19 ships here. That's a lot of ships. <coughs> uh, let's move our... Wait, did, did I... Did I take some destroyer with me? No, I did not. Okay, good. Uh, let's take this and I'll take them half. Oh, Jesus! Okay, apparently the war ended already. Uh, there you go. Let's take all troops here. Let's change the leader to... Since East Africa is all the least important fun we're gonna have to fight with... No, no, goddammit. We're gonna have to put uh, this guy. Uh, I think it's the Cavaliero. Okay, um, okay. Now, let's start with our resources. Actually, no, we were not done with the navy yet. I got distracted there. So, yeah, let's fix it this right now. Mm. Okay. You. Go there. Oh, there you go. Italian highways. Okay, so the Germans have remilitarized the Rhineland. Um, that's not a normal thing. Let's go down the political effort. There we go. Okay, so let's, put, let's start putting a front on. Now I know that this is kind of useless what I'm going to do right now, but I don't care. Uh, I'm going to organize my theaters. I know it's not really necessary to do that, but I like doing that. So if you think it's unnecessary, I don't care. Okay, so that's a European theater. I'm going to put an, an African theater. Just a bit simple. There we go. Roman, African, and European theater. Okay, so let's take the troops, let's take these troops, and put them here. I'm gonna put, um, let's put uh, Messe. I don't know if it's Messi or Messe. Uh, I don't think it's Messi, because if we play our Messi, how you, how you say it, has an I here, so I think it's Messe. I like saying Messi. It's I like I like that more. <coughs> so we got our navy we got our destroyer fleet here. That's good enough. We got a few ships here. I think the destroyer fleet is big enough. Let's put, make a new Okay, there goes the war in Especially the war. We will send troops to the Spanish, but for now I'm going to, to focus on my navy. Uh we're gonna make a new destroyer fleet here because I think we have enough ships here. Speaking of the ship, oh shit! Like, 
<laughs> got a long time to. Got a like. Let's a long time to organize all this. Uh, squadron. All destroyers. At least around fifty. Or forty, whatever. <laughs> Okay, this is perfect. Exactly 50 ships. Now, let's make our new navy in Taranto. Because actually it's a really historical part of uh, Italian military history in World War II. Not a proud one. So, let's just go with this. Let's, we're gonna move all of the destroyers here. And we'll have exactly a, maybe a lot of destroyers. <laughs> um, let's make our new destroyer fleet in in Genoa. Uh, I know this is a huge navy, but I don't remember it was this big. Let's see, compare our navies to the French and uh, French and British one. So they have 283 ships. Oh no, we have 283 ships. Okay, we have like a bigger, much bigger fleet than French. And yeah, we're we'll going to the British too. That's that's impressive. That means we'll actually have a, a lot easier when it comes to naval battles. I don't think I think we have a bigger navy than the normal Italy has because I don't I don't remember Italy have a bigger navy than the British. Let's make a computing. There we go. Uh, modify our government. Can we make up? No, we can't have war economy yet. Okay, let's think of it later on. Uh, let's make a war industrialist. We can build our <coughs> factories faster. Uh, forgot about resources. Let's trade with Siam. As well as since they're fascists. Is that all? Okay, that's all we got. Okay. So, I think we maybe should go for a bigger air force. Or, we, or I think we need the army experience. Or do we already have, we have it? Kind of have arm. But we need maybe more. Okay, I don't know. It's kind of a bit harder to decide. Um, fuck, let's go, let's go with, the, uh, with the army one. Oh, we got a <laughs> we got already. Let's make up so we can build. In industry is really important, so let's try to focus on that. <coughs> Speaking of uh, industry, I need to save the Spanish from destroying the whole country. Uh, let's send. Can, can we set free tank divisions? Let's send our Pietro Barbatius. Um, send volunteers. Arbatius. Oh, we can send them. Oh, we can send four. Four divisions. I sent four tank divisions. What? God damn it! <laughs> we just fucked this up. Well, there wasn't really a support Spain focus, I don't think really matter if we help them because in a normal focus tree we get something called support Spain but I guess it was kind of sad if we did not you know get to use our tanks to destroy some Republicans or communists or whatever uh, well I guess it's a bit a bit too sad okay so back to the game let's start putting our troops on I wish you declare war on on Turkey right now, just to declare war on them. Yeah, I think we can do that. I don't think that. Oh, yeah, I don't know. We have a corridor too, so I think this will be justified. We're gonna declare war on them. Let's then put all of our troops right here. To here. And yeah, we already have Pietro Barbatius here. There we go. Sorry for all your Tur Turkish viewers out there. I do not hate Turkish people. <laughs> well, unless unless you do, you don't admit that they're meeting inside, then you are pretty bad. But if you do recognize the, the Armenian side, then you are a good Turk. Okay. Oh fuck! I forgot about our navy. So we need to fix that. Construction. Um, 
concentrated to disperse. Let's put disperse because I think we would get bombed pretty easily in the war two breaks out. Or should we? Nah, it's not concentrated. I've, I, I have confidence in our Italian Air Force. Uh, let's get a better fighter, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. So let's gonna put let's gonna put our new navies here. Yes. Put you in infinite. Let's put you on two, and let's move on where the new destroyer is gonna be. I think it's Genoa. Yes. There we go. Uh, I don't know when the game is paused, so let's continue. Oh, I forgot we need to put. Uh, I can build some destroyers, even if you already have a lot of them, let's put build them anyway. And it's gonna be here. And we need some convoys too. Now we need a lot more oil. And who are we gonna get oil from? From Venezuela. Venezuela will get a lot of. I think Venezuela will be really powerful now in Venezuela because uh, we're giving you a lot of factories, uh, us, the Germans, and the Spanish. Okay, so it's gonna retake, retake the Holy Land, the, f the Fifth Crusade. Uh, yeah. Good job, Soviet Union. Good job for killing all those fucking generals. That's why communism sucks, kids. Okay, uh, let's support the right. Daily fast support. Yeah, there, let's go with that. Need more, need more oil. Jesus Christ, we need a lot of oil. What do we need else? Uh, there we go. Okay. <coughs> we should probably need to move our air force to, to the Balkans. Now, when I probably when I will crush the Turks now, I'm not gonna admit that I'm like I'm gonna be like yes I'm like fucking awesome in this game. No, no I'm not gonna be like that because I know that having all the Balkans is pretty overpowered, so I'm not gonna admit that. This actually game makes the game a lot more easier. Let's build a bit more civilian factories, but mostly military factories and a few. Naval dockyard. There we go. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm not. Uh, I know that having all of this land is a bit overpowered for me, but you know what? I don't care. I'm mostly doing this because it's fun to be, you know, Rome and reconquering the Roman lands and whatever, and uh, having a new focus tree to work on. If it's not that detailed, <coughs> let's trade with the Germans, of course, because they are fascists like us. We we'll probably maybe trade them in the future. But I don't care. So we this fortification is done the eighth of October. What else? We have a new air force here. So then, there we go. Wait, what? No, that was wrong. No, you go there. And boom. We will bomber there. Okay. Uh. Can put a lot, a lot more stuff. <laughs> let's put some. Let's put some. It's close support too. For the right, there we go. Uh, let's go for our, uh, a bit of air experience for our air force. Field military, free military factories. That's good. <coughs> uh, we might get a bit of tanks because. The L3 is not really a good tank. I think it's in a, I think it's not even a light tank. I think it's light a tankette, which used like machine gun fire, which is not good tanks. I'll try to go for the L6. We actually got a cannon. What else do we need? We need more steel. <coughs> Some only one training with the Germans. Four new Germans. Uh, modifier government. That's now, of course, as as Romans, we cannot team with. Germans, but you know what? We will, we will use them. We will use them. Oh, Jesus Christ! Defense attack ten percent. I'm gonna save for that, of course. 
Yeah, let's save for that. Uh, I'm probably gonna lose all these islands, I know that, but I don't care. Submarines. Um, I think we really have a big submarine fleet, do we? Yeah, let's make a new submarine fleet on... Pima is gonna be the island of, of all the submarines. Assuming we'll have enough uh, political power to uh, to yeah. Now we now we get the we get the army offense guy, uh, Equ uh, Aquila Equitius. I'm not good at saying Latin names. There we go. Now it'll be much easier to crush the Turks. Spamming truth by now. This is amazing. Let's start putting our navies on a national already. Uh, we get some new. Okay, the, the names of the admirals, whatever, uh, did not change. Doesn't matter. There we go. Uh, this is one destroyer fleet. I don't think we need more. Why are you here? So, yeah. <coughs> one, thing I, one thing I just noticed about my focus tree is I don't get any industrial focuses. Which, to be honest, I shouldn't complain, but we got a lot of factories, but still. Oh, it's a bull for the part. Or, and before we do this, is anyone guaranteeing the Ottomans? No, no one is. Ottomans, I mean Turks! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a clear war. Hold on. Wait, go there. Wait, what the? What are you doing? What? What? Why can I not send it? Okay, there we go. I'll have some problems there. Uh, yeah. There we go. Let's see how good this will go. What's happening? I forgot about sending our fleets. So I'm gonna send you to convoy escort. Yeah, if we lost these islands, I don't care. We lost Dokkanese, I don't care. We'll still win the war. So let's send some marines. Giuseppe Fioravanzo. The same as speak Italian, I don't sound Italian because after living in Sweden quite a few years, I lost my Italian accent. Some people say I, I sound like an Austrian when I, when I talk Itali Italian. I do not blame people if they think that, because I've lived in Sweden for quite some time now. Although I still know, I still know how to speak the language. Writing though <laughs> is another thing, since I can speak Italian a lot, since I talk, I talk, God damn it, I talk with my family quite a lot. Italian, but I never write Italian. That's why I can. Ne I'm not good at writing anymore. Uh, okay, so we t we took we took Constantinople. Yeah, you for you Turk viewers, I might have tricked you right now, and you might dislike this video. But you know what? I don't care. You lost. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, lost. <laughs> I thought we have more casualties than the Turks, but I guess not. Then. That's, that's new bombers. Yeah, we probably are bombing Greece by now, but I don't care. A support strike and naval strike. And there we go. Now we're officially in, in Asia. I think we should part. Let's put our troops on aggressively execute battle plans. Got some new, troop, got some new troops here. It's a bit few. No, our air force will do a bit better. Uh, a bit army effort. Probably maybe we should send some, some planes to Greece. And actually, do you have any planes left? I don't have any planes left. I want to send. I can we send a few planes to Greece? Yeah, there you go. Now it looks like it does look like the Turks are sending out their navy since they're having no nail battles. It is because they're afraid to send them out, or do they actually do they actually don't not don't have a navy? Do you do have a navy? Although it's pretty insignificant. Come 
on. Come on. Surrender. You cannot win. There we go. Oh, I forgot about battle doctrines. I probably should start researching about that. But yeah, well, who knows? Who cares? Let's continue. Okay. Why he's not going good? Okay, now we're gonna slowly take over everything. Too much blitz creed them. Uh. Oh, you're already close to surrendering. I think. Jesus Christ. I think if we, if we take Ankara, we will win the war. Now, I must be careful. We do not take this. We do not want to get. How you say? Trapped. Because if we get trapped, we're pretty much fucked. Um, it's not a battle doctrine. We want to go for super fire, uh, superior firepower doctrine. This actually might... I don't think we lose the war because of this, but this makes the war a bit harder. I probably should have waited to do that, but who cares? Let's continue. Now, we're pretty much just walking in because we're literally outnumbering them. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, they, they are pretty... Yeah, I, I won this already. <laughs> We all we all knew I was gonna win this war. We all knew this since I pretty much I'm already a bit too OP controlling all the Balkans. But you know what? Uh, I like this mod. <laughs> okay, so let's have more fortified equipment to light tanks. Forgot to maybe give some to our interwar bombers, naval, whatever. <coughs> By the way, um, if you if people watch my mapping channel too, which probably everyone does here, uh, this is this is gonna be a bit spoiler for my new mapping video. So if you see if there's actually a purpose, subscribe to my gaming channel because you're gonna be getting some spoiler from my main channel. My main video, uh, my, my my main video, sorry, my next video will be a war simulation. Uh, so I'll be happy to see all the trigger nationalists in the comments again, like what happened to my other war simulations. Although it will not be a Balkan video, so I don't think you'll be as many nationalists as others may think. Oh, we took back our island. See, doesn't matter if we lost the island, we took it back. Now, a lot of troops are just going for this part of Turkey, which is okay, I guess. But we need to focus on this part of Turkey. Uh, war economy. So we surpassed the moderation effort since we already had motorized. So I think we should go for Italy first. I forgot there's no Bulgaria to ally with. <laughs> I was like, so do I ally Bulgaria or what? Oh wait, we got there's no Bulgaria. Yeah, so the Turks are really close to capitulate. I think if we if we take Ankara, they already have surrendered. Now I'm scared that we left the uh, the east part of our front really undefended. But let's hope the Turks can do much. We took, we already took some naval bases here, so if they, even if they take this now, it doesn't really matter anymore. Oh look, we got some naval battles here. It's pretty much mostly convoys getting destroyed. Okay, so now we're taking literally all of all of Turkey. Okay, uh, the west part of Turkey is now gone, except those few islands back there, which I think are beginning to be worse for mine in the beginning, yes. So, let's, Jesus Christ. Oh God. Take all states, and boom. Beautiful. Yeah, this was a good video. I think we should end it now. We conquered Turkey, we took back the Holy Land, you know, we didn't take Jerusalem like the Crusader wanted, but th that's okay, because they're already controlled by the British, who are Protestants. So yeah, we conquered
conquer Turkey. Don't worry, I um I know I'm making a lot of crusader jokes, but no, I'm not against muscles or anything. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you didn't find it offensive if you are Turk. But remember, if you want more of this, come on, come on remember to like, comment, and all kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.